Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of the Easy Publisher Development series. So in this tutorial I will continue to talk about uh, the tweak template and uh, let's start in checking how to display images in Twig. So let's say we have one image in our resource folder. I need just to copy one image to the custom bundle folder, resource public folder. So I'll copy one image from the today base bundle. Uh, let me check uh, here today base bundle, resource public and the images. I'll copy uh, this logo dot png from here to here. It's not necessary, but uh, I could just use the path to the today base bundle, but uh, um, I need just to show how things work right now. So I have copied this image here, but I have copied to the bundle folder, not to the web uh, directory here, web bundles directory here. So every time we create a new file in that uh, public folder, we need to run that command. But I will not run the command right now. Let me run it later. The assets install and the asset key dump. Um, let me just continue here with the tutorial. So we have two ways to display that image. Uh, that image. One way is to use this image function here in Twig, and the other way is to pass the path to that images in the web. Uh, directory. So let's start uh, testing this way and then we can test the other way. So I'll just put this image here. I'm not uh, focusing in the design right now, I just want uh, to show the concepts. We will check some uh, design later, so make this template a little bit prettier later by using Bootstrap, but uh, right now I, I just want to show the concepts and uh, yeah, that is it. Now I need to run that command, the publish console assets install env custom and then I'll just uh, use asset key dump. And uh, yeah, basically that is it. Now I can test my front page here and uh, it will display the image here. The other way, as I told, is to use this uh, way instead. So you can use the asset uh, tweak template function. Let's test again. It's basically, it will be basically the same stuff to do the same stuff but it's just another way to do the same thing so this is how we can include tweak template uh, images in the tweak template just remember um, you can check my tutorials and uh, there is one tutorial that I talk about uh, a extending Symfony 2 bundles uh, and uh, you can use the, that concepts here as well so you can override one image from another bundle instead of, uh, of uh, specifying the path here to this bundle you could specify the path to the to the today base bundle and uh, just copy that image in this bundle here and uh, it would be overrided. So let's continue here. So now I will talk about including other templates. So in tweak templates we can include another template here. Instead of putting everything in one template we could divide this in several templates and include them here. Like I could create one template for the style sheets and another template for the JavaScript includes 
another template for the head meta tags and uh, um, and so on. So we could create uh, one template for the top menu, another template for the um, related content, etc. So in this case, let's start uh, by including one template, one footer template. So this is the way we, we can include one template here. So I'm going to include this template here below the content and um, we need to create the footer template uh, inside this folder here parts so i'm going to open these views and create uh, a new folder here called parts and inside this folder i'm going to create uh, the footer template so i just put here footer okay and uh, here I'm just going to display a variable here foo and uh, I'm going to use this twig function here default and um, so if the variable is not defined it will display the string footer footer here I'll just put this in 82 let me check what will happen slash it to uh, and basically that is it I hope it to work and uh, let's check again our template and we can see that uh, the footer is displayed here but uh, it's showing the 82 tags because we need to use uh, one twig template filter because uh, uh, looks like uh, the outscape twig filter is enabled by default. I'll talk about this later, but um, we could uh, do something like uh, this here and use the row filter and uh, it will force the HTML to not be escaped. Okay, so I'll just reload this here, and now that 82 HTML header tag is not uh, escaped. So I'll talk about this filter later. But basically, there is one way to include the footer template, and also we could include the template passing variables to that template. So we can include the template here and uh, specify this tag here with and uh, we can pass the variables in one array here so I'll do this right now and we'll check what happens so I go here in my page layout and change this to this so now the variable foo we have uh, content so it will not use this default content here because this default content is just called when the variable is not defined so let's check what happens and uh, yeah we have here the name bar instead of uh, this footer here so basically that is it that is how we can include uh, templates inside another tweak templates so it's it's uh it's better to divide the page layout in several templates instead of just one so it's easier to maintain the code and so you can check the template for the footer uh, quicker instead of uh, having one big html tweak template file you have several ones so it's easier to maintain Let's continue with our presentation here and uh, now I'll talk about uh, how do we check the existing variables in our Twig template so the existing parameters in our Twig templates 
if we use this function here, dump in our page layout here, uh, I'll put this over the image tag and check what happens. Just refresh. So this dump function will show all the existing parameters or variables in our current template. So in this case, it's the page layout template. We could do the same to this footer here and check what happens in the bottom at the bottom. Um, so yeah, so we have basically the same variables that uh, are present in the page layout in, at the footer and uh, in and another one here, the foo, that's defined for the footer. And in the page layout we have these variables. So we have the no layout, the location, that is basically the content object, content object location actually, and the content that is the content object. We have uh, also the view base layout, a set key, the easy publish variable, and uh, the app and uh, Google Analytics that is from my my base bundle and some other um, variables from my base bundle. We have the site axis variable and uh, yeah, basically that is it. So now that we have all these vari variables or parameters. Uh, displayed here, we will notice that uh, EasyPubsh does not show everything to us. It will just so show to a certain level and stop there. So we can uh, check and debug all the variables and the attributes and then you can go through your variable and check parameter by parameter until you find the information that you want. So let's check this here. I'll just remove this from here and just keep this here. So let's say we want to check uh, the easy publish variable here. So we have this easy publish variable. And we want to check more information about this variable. So you put, we put this easy publish here, dump easy publish. So now it will just debug the easy publish variable, not everything. And here we have all the easy publish attributes that we can check. So we can check the container services, and um, let's check if there's something more. Yeah, there's this method map and um, scopes, scope children, uh, scope stacks, parameters. Um, let me check if there's. Yeah, there are more elements. But um, let's say we want to check uh, the container or another thing. So let's say we want to check the container dot container dot, dot services and um, let's go back here and check what happens. Oh container does not exist here. So yeah Maybe we cannot do this. Let me check again this. Oh, it's protected. Um, actually, that, that was one way to do this, but uh, looks like I cannot access this variable here because uh, it's protected. Uh, but let's check if, if we can access another variable here.
Yeah, it looks like him. But uh, let's test this with the app because the app variable has some other information as well. Uh, okay, uh, maybe I need to clear the cache. Don't know why, but uh, looks like this. Let's check this again. Yeah, looks like this app also is not showing. It's showing the same thing as Easy Publish. So uh, I have run into two <laughs> bad examples here. I believe uh, the, locale, the location is a better example of uh, how we can use this debug variable. Because uh, that the other two options we cannot access that uh, information. So now if we can check parameter by parameter by the location object, then we can do just like this. So now I'm assessing the content info. If I want to check uh, more variable, I could just type something like this and it would show me the ID attribute and say that it's done one int and uh, etc. And also we could do this um, to show another location parameters in that uh, we could uh, just use to show the uh, remote ID, parent location ID, or path string uh, variable. But uh, we also have uh, the content here in this variable for this page layout. So we can check the fields. Like uh, let's say we want to check these fields here. We just put something like this. And uh, we could uh, continue specifying more stuff here, parameter by parameter, and we could uh, specify until we read the content that we want. There is um, one presentation at SlideShare that uh, about this publish five. Oh. Not uh, slide share, maybe at the share.easy.no that uh, talks about some existing variables in the page layout. So let me check here. Um, here, here we have this tutorial. Um, I'll make this link available there. Uh, oh no, it's not this tutorial. Um, I will check uh, what is the actually the current presentation and I will put a link in this uh, actually in this in this page here at the bottom and you can check this slide later I will put a link to this slide in the video description and, and you can just check it later but uh, basically what I wanted to say is that uh, you can use this var this dump tweak function to check uh, parameter by parameter and uh, attributes from the parameters until you read the information that you want and later I'll put a link there so yeah I believe uh, I'll continue in the next tutorial and I'll talk about some Twig functions, Twig template basics. Um, so that is it. I hope you have enjoy, enjoyed and uh, we'll see you there in the next tutorial. Bye bye.